This smells so good. I normally make 36 for him, but he wants me to make 60. Hey guys, what's up? Oh my God, it's Monday. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Hey girl, hey. Hey boy, hey. This is Boss Vision where I share with you all everything you need to know about candles and weekly vlogs. Yes, we've been doing weekly vlogs since March of 2021. So it has been a year of me posting my life to you guys. <laughs> so we've come a long way. I just want to let you know this is only the beginning. Yo girl. I've been saying that a lot. I was watching the video back last time. I was like, why did I keep saying that? But I conquered the cameo last week, as you can see. So this is not my best font. I don't really love this font. You know, I'm not really a fan of this font, but I was just happy to get font from vinyl to, to the candle. So that's a great start. But yeah, the moral of the story is today is a really exciting day because it's the first day of my marketing plan. Yeah, so with launching out a new product, which we're doing, Sparkling Sangria, I always focus on doing a five-day marketing plan, posting five days on social media, sending out five email blitz. And on the first day, it's, of course, the commercial, letting you know what's coming soon. And the second day is sharing more about how I made it. Third day, sharing more about the candle and its benefits. The fourth day is sharing that there will be a promo on the fifth day. And the fifth day is sharing the promo. So that's what we're doing. Super exciting stuff. Um, really looking forward to going live tonight. As you all know, I go live every other Monday night. Now, I just started doing this because of like the traction that we got on that first live. Three weeks ago, I was like, oh my God, everybody loves it. Let me keep doing it. So I'm gonna keep doing it. So yeah, the moral of the story is, um, it's about like one almost. I haven't eaten anything all day. So I wanna go to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna find some food. I just okay guys, I just left Trader Joe's and I got the No Joke Ginger Shot. So I'm gonna try this. It's literally called No Joke. Coconut water, ginger, lemon juice, and cayenne. really strong so yeah i got a bunch of groceries healthy stuff i'm trying to get as skinny as possible because getting hot outside i want to go to the beach i want to do fun stuff i really think i want to go to miami i think miami would be really fun hey y'all we got good news we got good news we got some good news <laughs> so y'all remember last week i asked the mineral store owner about red calcite and labradite so i asked him like thursday it's monday <laughs> and he has replied <sighs> here's what he said y'all hey i'm awful with keeping up with everything <laughs> i did check and south point has the raw red calcite and the three dollar retail size tumbled labradite I'll ask what they have at Crabtree now. Yeah, ask Crabtree. They got most stuff. So, <laughs> South Point Mall is really great, but they don't have the nice tumble stones. Crabtree Mall does, because it's a bigger mall. I don't know how, but I guess that's how distribution works. But yeah. Then, <laughs> he said, our manager there did say we need more of your candles. Exclamation point. He said, exclamation. Dang, how you say that word, exclamation point? <sighs> That's lit. <laughs> I wanted to say that word, so I got an exclamation point. <laughs> but yeah, this is lit, you guys. How amazing. So, this is the fastest he's ever needed more candles. Like, it was March 3rd when I dropped him off. It's March 28th. It's only been 25 days since I dropped him off. Usually, it takes about two months. So I want to respond when I jump through the grapple camera. <laughs> um, go on live tonight or in 25 minutes, but I am not drinking. Let me tell you why. Because it makes me sleepy and we got to make candles. I'm not anybody got time for that. But should I go get something to drink? I don't know. Hey, I'm off. I'm just going to be like, I'm going to get something to drink. Get a little something. I'm going to get a little something. Nothing crazy because I'm trying to stay skinny. I don't know. Okay, so. Put you guys up here. 
Can you still see me? You see your girl? You see her? You see me? This is how short I am, y'all. You're on my fridge. <laughs> Wait, you're in the cat in there. It's the best place. So short, five feet, you guys. So, here's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. Sounds great. Keep me posted regarding Crabtree. Yes, so exciting that they sold fast. How many would you want this time? You see how he be working for you and not to you? Okay, period. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Um, so I was just reaching out because I need to restock online in terms of red calcite and labradite reset. Cause y'all always buy a reset. Y'all always buy a reset. So <laughs> no, for real. Reset sells the fastest, and then um, clarity because people like I don't know they like the lemon, but I stopped putting a lemon in there. I'm gonna start back putting a lemon in there. But <laughs> I'm talking a lot. I have a lot of energy today. I didn't work out, but your girl yesterday I worked out. I did abs. I will have abs soon. <laughs> But yeah, that was so cool. I was just asking him about stocking up and he said we need more candles. <laughs> That's so lit. It's been 20 days and they already sold. I knew they would though. So thinking about the silhouette, I don't really think I need to do those labels like that. Or I'll keep it, but I'm not going to do my labels with vinyl. because That was really hard. However, comma. Oh, excuse me. You guys reminded me that I need... Um, a weeding tool this <laughs> so I was weeding through with the wrong tool I was weeding through with the wrong thing so yeah I was using oh, I was using my spatula and you're supposed to use your weeding tool your hook so now I know you use the hook use the hook that was so cool but yeah I'm gonna try to print again if it doesn't work it doesn't work more of a story is I could go get wine. I don't really want to drink wine right now. Because um, I want to make candles after this. Because we have a large order. That means I need to place an order with Wood & Wake Co. for more vessels. Okay. And she was giving me a one-time courtesy. So I need to go tell her. Yeah. He will hear. Thank you for the one-time courtesy. <laughs> I just want to thank y'all so much for joining the live. I go live every other Monday and I answer your questions. I love y'all. Like, that was so fun. I just got off live. So the live timed out in like an hour. And so I had to restart it. But so amazing. I just had a glass of wine. I was burning sparkling sangria. Here, you know, setting the vibe. The vibe was there, the vibe was there, but I feel so lucky. Like, oh my God, it is so amazing that um, we have the candles for the malls. So now I just need to calculate how many I have right now and then place a new order of wooden wick. Make C because I know that I would prefer to get that order purchased as soon as possible so that um, by the time he replies, because <laughs> This is so funny, y'all. Like, the mineral store owner, like, he'll text me, but then I know after I reply, I still got, like, one to three business days before he responds. He's just so busy. I'm going to go ahead and post this now, send out my email. Here's my to-do list. I do real TikTok. Send the email. Marketing. Order supplies, because you know we're about to make a lot more crystal candles. Then I'm going to make six resets to get a head start, and then I'm going to create candle making survival guide. I hate when people tell you about something they're about to do before they do it. But, um, y'all, if I don't say it, I'm going to put it off. Like, if I don't say, um, create Candle Maker Survivor, I'm going to put it off. Like, I've just been running on autopilot trying to, like, do the bare minimum. It's so funny. Overachievers always say this. Like, I'm doing the bare minimum. But, really, you're doing a lot. But, for me, it's just, like, if I could just scrape up more energy to just do a little bit more. I'll be a little bit happier. So, my main focus, <laughs> crazy, is to get the site completely done tonight. It shouldn't take long. I have Canva. I have Zyro. I have Jesus. So, we got this, y'all. We're going to get this done tonight. <laughs> okay, guys. So, I just spent a few minutes, you know, posting my social media instagram reels and tiktok i'm getting back on tiktok i have a huge following on my personal tiktok but that's just from 
posting videos like lip syncing people like that on tiktok but i'm trying to transition into posting relevant candle making videos and having people you know understand more about that uh, and like those instead of just my body yada 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 <laughs> anywho so i went to amazon and bought something i do not remember what uh, i think i do actually okay this is some white gel polish because I am tired of spending $100 on pedicures. Awesome. Fun fact, one time I just went in for a polish change and the guy, I guess, didn't know how to do it. So he spent a good 30 minutes drilling off the white polish and then 30 minutes carefully and slowly applying the white to it and it looks so like chunky and thick and I felt so so frustrated and they charged me like $50 for a polish change in gel so it was like never again it's just so many like traumatic experiences like that happened in my area that's another reason why I want to move just in terms of North Carolina they don't do nails well but that's fine um I have a solution in the meantime this is the gel polish that they use here you might have seen this at your local nail salon. $6.97, $6.97. And they charge $30 or extra, they charge a lot of money for this. Um, or extra $20 when you do a pedicure is gel, $20 more. So I have that. Um, yeah. I'm just tired of, um, like as you can see with my nails, like your girl did that, okay, period. Okay, what I did really was um, I mixed red gel with white or clear gel. Red and clear makes a light pink. So I put that light pink on first and then I put uh, white gel tips. So it looks like a really pretty pink and white. Um, I Googled, Google taught me that. But then I have something candle related. I got some good stuff guys super excited this is actually really really good okay so i just feel so blessed to have this partnership with the malls honestly i just reached out to him to see if it would make sense to do the citrus the resets in blue i want to try to put reset in blue because i have 36 of these that i don't use and i think like you know clarity and focus would be an iridescent and the reset would be in blue i don't know we'll see what he thinks he hasn't responded but I got 16 ounces of citrus and sage. I haven't had this in a minute. Citrus and sage really sets off the tea tree. Oh, it's crazy. Just in terms of that, oh my God, it smells so good. It reminds me of my old apartment. Oh my gosh. Like I had like four ounces of citrus and sage. And I was like, okay, this smells good. This smells good. I just threw a whole bunch of stuff in and we made it, y'all. It was so crazy that day. Like I'll never forget the day. Okay, so I was working with, I told y'all this half of the story last vlog, but working with the manager at the store and she was like bring in your work and it worked in terms of her boss the guy i'm talking to now he was so rude but now he's so cool but um he was like consignment and i didn't want to do consignment so she oh, i miss her she pitched to him to get me wholesale instead of consignment like, i feel so blessed like to have that she went to bat for me and then um just in terms of that after we got the partnership there and they were willing to pay me, um, she made me buy crystals. He said he's all for it. Okay, yay, awesome, that's great. Okay, cool. So I'm going to do reset in the blue ones. Okay, now I just need the calcite. I need the calcite. Next text, I'm gonna text in a second, I need calcite. But back to my story, y'all. She made me buy all sorts of candles. Well, wait, he said something else. We have red calcite, but not labradite at Crabtree. Labradite is a rare find. Makes sense. He's still typing. <laughs> so unresponsive. So I'm like, and like limp. Like, this is amazing. He's still typing. Cancel. I just, you know when you're writing a long message and somebody keeps typing, you kind of want to wait until they say what they got to say before you say what you got to say. <laughs> say what you got to say. Would you want to make 20 of each candle? on camera <laughs> I gotta order more supplies. this is so 
exciting. <laughs> okay, makes sense. Yeah, sounds great, 20 of each. So we're in a good place. Like, man, what is the universe? The universe is listening to your girl. So essentially, I normally make 36 for him, but he wants me to make 60. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I asked him about the blue. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Um, 60 is great. That's a great start. Okay, more candles for them all. Okay, the main reason why it's a great start is because the more I make for him, the higher profit I get. In terms of wholesale, you guys know, if you are selling your candles at a wholesale rate, you don't want to make like less than 24. So I make 36 for him, which is a good amount, but having to make 60 is a great amount. Hey y'all, what's up? My camera reminds me every day that they could bring at any moment. Like it was like a black screen. So I was like, what's going on? But really it was just like that the lens was closed. I'm like, close, open your eyes. It's time for us to vlog on Box Fish. <laughs> but yeah, oh my god, it is Tuesday, an amazing day. I got dressed early. Ooh, excuse me. I worked out at home, didn't go anywhere. I feel so good. So I need to edit this video. Hey girl, hey. So I'm gonna go in public and edit it. And then I need to go to the mall, Crabtree Valley Mall, and we're going to purchase crystals. I have outsourced crystals, but I cannot find red calcite or labradite. And he can't find it either, the, the mineral store on there. <laughs> so I'm just like, might have to try something else, but I really don't want to try anything else. I hate trying new things, you know I'm a Taurus. However, it's great news to make 60. Like, this is a huge moment. I mean, he has asked me to make 60 before, but it was in the cheaper ones, the clear ones. Um, do I have one? Yeah, actually do. Y'all know I'll be dipping in my own supply. Here's the old focus candle. <laughs> So, yes, as you can see, I've been burning the heck out of this baby. Mmm, smells so good. But, yeah, the main thing there is that I have to buy more crystals from him. Yeah, I really wanted to make sure I wrote everything down, and I left it at home. <laughs> I've been falling by phone, I got options, and I don't want to tell you to drop it. But I don't wanna play your fair, yeah Something that makes me look at you too out there Baby, you can get Okay guys, we are here. Oh my gosh, okay. So, I told him I'd be here around 1, it's like 12.48. I'm about to walk in now. Um, Yeah, so fun fact, I've been watching a lot of things about our spiritual awakening and how it's important to be mindful of what we're spending our money on, where we're spending our money at. So I just wanted to help you guys with that in terms of understanding that um, capitalism is real, consumerism is real uh, in terms of what we're doing. For work, it is important to be mindful of the fact that you should be working towards what you love. And if you're not working towards what you love, stop doing it. Because often we we get our minds in sort of this like limbo of toxicity of thinking this is what we're supposed to do because it earns you a certain amount of money quick. But if you could take away the desire to earn money quick and focus more on the desire to do what you love, you're able to be happier and get out of this negative loop. For me personally, I work in sales, which is immediately what you're gonna see is like a negative vibe. But I make candles and I focus on my business every for a little bit of time every single day. This is not, I'm not gonna work, I'm gonna than like five minutes. Yeah. 
Okay, guys, I'm about to go into Barnes and Noble and do work, but I just want to say, did y'all see that? He took the price up. <laughs> so, uh, Diamond Sapphire, I was listening to what you said about the candles, and this is crazy. So, like, he's paying me, I thought I was doing 60 40, but it's now it's coming out to 50 50 because of, um, like, he didn't look at that candle, he realized the worth and how quick it's been selling, and he raised the price three dollars and didn't even tell me. So, I'm gonna mention it, but you raise the price because I mean, if you raise the price, you should be giving me like a dollar more, you know. <laughs> but this is so cool to have something of value in this way, but you can't have that perspective, you always have to be mindful of your money. So, he took the price up to like 38 instead of 35, and they were 30 and I told him to take it to 35 and he took it to 38 <laughs> and he only has two left and I put 36 there two weeks ago so three weeks really so that means um he told me to make 60 he wants me to make more so he can make more money he's about to make bank so this is exciting okay, okay guys so I am home I've been home for a while a long time so they didn't have opalite they didn't have Labradite, um, apparently tumbled, is the, the smooth ones. So now I know. The the um, girl at the register was so rude to me at first. And I was just like, how can I warm her up? I just kept smiling and complimenting her pink hair. So then she stopped being kind of like defensive and then super helpful. Like she counted out all the stones for me. I don't think she knows that I'm really allowed to go to the back of the store and you know count them out myself but she went back there and counted them all out for me yeah i changed as you can see girl got the muscle you know it was like it was arm back day today as you can see as you know that's that kind of looks terrifying like i'm way too strong <laughs> What's up? Oh my God, it is Wednesday and I have to tell y'all, it is 7.30 p.m. <laughs> so usually I come on the camera, you know, around lunchtime, like, hey y'all, what's up y'all? I'm gonna go do this, do this, do this. Today was a day, it was like cloudy a little bit. And I'm not gonna lie, like I just woke up, I put on my gym clothes, I did like one squat, I did a sudden the leg day at home, like a few squats. And then your girl just laid on the couch for like an hour. And then I actually went up to my room and just took a nap. I've never taken a nap. I'm not a napper. I can't, it gives me so much anxiety to take a nap. I'm like, what did I miss? You know, that's how you know. Your girl do too, too much, but I took a nap. Like, good nap, it's like 45 minute nap. I woke up, 
I didn't wake up cranky either. I just woke up like, uh-huh, I'm better. Body feels better. I feel like really good. I had a whole bunch of water right after the nap. Okay, so we are in a pickle here with the vessels. Because as you can see, I have so many blue ones. And then I have just a few iridescents. So essentially I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12 iridescents. So I'm thinking of doing like 12 iridescents, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So still be, I would still need two more iridescents if I was gonna do one scent in iridescent auras, like all the way, you know, like all the way. So I'm just thinking like, if I did all of the clarity candles in iridescent and then all the reset candles in blue and then all the focus candles in blue, I'm just like, I don't know. It's hard because I'm not trying to waste any money on vessels and then this is about to be a big, a big invoice for me. So I'm thinking of just doing a blend, but does this look ghetto? Like comment below. I'm gonna put it on Instagram too to see what y'all think. Um, I know often you just have to trust your own instincts when it comes to your business, but it's just like, I don't know. Is that ghetto to have three, five, 10, 15, 20, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, four, eight, 12, 16, 17, 18. Oh, and I have to pack orders. <laughs> Shout out to Liz if you're watching this for um, chatting with me, like sending me 10 chats on ch on my um, website about I want a floral scent, I want a sweet scent, and then all you ordered was one awakening wax melt. <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> But yeah, I'm definitely put something free in there because it's your second order. Funny girl, that was funny girl. Hey guys, what's up? Oh my God, it is Thursday. This week flew by, it's insane. So today is, I mean, I have to make 60 candles for the mall. My Widow and Co order just shipped. Fun fact, I only ordered I only ordered a dozen iridescent orders. I this is before I found out I had to do 60 candles. So I just ordered a dozen. I was like, I just need to, you know, 12. And um now I know I need more. And then I'm kind of dealing with indecision here regarding this. Like, should I? Should I do that? You know what I mean? Like, should I do blue and iridescent for both? I've been thinking of doing this. Like at first I was apprehensive to do it, but then I'm like, why not? Okay guys, so it's a little later. I changed clothes. I now know why I always have a lot of laundry at the end of the week, because I change clothes during the day, multiple times. <sighs> but yes, it's warm. Oh, it's nice. Oh guys, so I just left USPS. Well actually post the mailbox. I always want to call it USPS, but just the mailbox in my neighborhood. So, I got my tea tree oil extremely fast. I feel like I ordered this on Monday. It's Thursday, so. Okay, bulk apothecary. So yeah, let's open this up. Huge red flags. Super strong tea tree oil scent. That's always scary when you order fragrance oil for it to smell so strong and you have to open it. And then the bag is easily opening and you can see it's like the words are smudging. So, pretty sure my whole thing spilled, which is fine. That's fine. I'm just going to tell Boca Pata Carrier to resend it. Okay, yeah. So, as you can see, my um, packing slip is like soaked in tea tree oil. Uh huh. So, yeah, that'll resend it. And yeah, here it is. And it's like dented up and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna try to open it and see if 
Is it leaking somewhere or what? Um, I don't know where it's leaking at, but I don't feel a leak. I, I don't know, guys. You know how sometimes things could just be like poorly packaged? Okay. Yeah, so yeah. There's like this much teacher all gone, and this is $50. So yeah, we're definitely gonna reach out to them and be like, hey y'all, uh, what's up y'all? Poorly packaged. You know why? It's cause they try to save money on packaging by doing a bag rather than a box and charging you. They charge you $11.22 to pack your tea tree oil in a padded bag because the bag is cheaper than if they packed a flat rate envelope is cheaper than if they did a flat rate box or a primary mail box. As business owners, we be noticing things like that. They try to cut corners or whatever. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna reach out and be like, y'all got me. But it's not even a big deal. It's just something I want to be reimbursed for. So we got some fragrance oil from VA Canvas Supply. I think I ordered this on Monday too. This is crazy. Like for real, this invoice for Bulk Apothecary was three twenty eight. It's three thirty one. So it's been three nine thirty three one three days, and they got that here. I'm so quick. Same for Virginia Candle, and Virginia Candle Supply is slow. So this is shocking. Okay, let's open it. Up. I think I might need scissors. Oh, effort. Scissors are so far away. <laughs> like they're like three, two stories up. Right, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay. I have so many videos I want to create for you guys. Um, but the reason why they're taking so long is because I have a job. So, this is cool because it's like what I've seen other YouTubers experience regarding like not being able to keep up with so many videos um, and then they eventually quit their job. So hopefully that's me within the next 30 days. I'm low key like the type of person where I'm so, I don't like change so much that I just hope like I get fired. Is that crazy to say? <laughs> Like, fire me so I can take a risk and bet on me. <laughs> Is that crazy? Comment below. I have, like, this anxiety every time I'm there. Or not there. But, you know, every time I'm working, because I work from home. So, I'm just trying to figure out, like, what it is. Ever since 2020, I always thought, like, okay, you need to protect your peace. You need to do what makes you happy. And what makes you happy is so against what society says should make you happy like you're supposed to work for a living you're earning a paycheck and then putting your paycheck back into large corporations what i love i got some packing peanuts from va candle so far so definitely be using those later on when we pack these orders i did not put that on my list i need to add it to my list but yeah i got lots of fragrance oil from va oh no Oh no. Oh no. They gave me the wrong fragrance oil. They gave me black ice. What is black ice? <laughs> Look guys. They gave me black ice instead of jasmine vanilla. I wonder if they labeled it wrong. I'm trying to give them the benefit of doubt. Wow, VA candle, wow. Let's see. I don't wanna open it because I don't know what their like exchange policy is, but yeah, they totally gave me black ice instead of jasmine vanilla. You guys saw that on camera, so. Yeah, I'll definitely have to email them right after this. But yeah, I also got champagne toast. I wonder what black ice even smells like. It sounds so crazy. But I wanted to get champagne toast because 
Y'all, I don't know if you noticed, I'm going through a lot with like these two boxes right now. Like one gave me the wrong order, one of them shifted incorrectly and it's like dented and leaking. <laughs> so I'm just working with that, but um, yeah, champagne toast. Yeah, so this is just like the champagne toast fragrance oil from Bath & Body Works. So I wanted this to make a candle in. I just love to make custom candles sometimes. So yeah, super cool. And then clean cotton. Yes, this is a clean scent here. Oh, I love it. I love it from VA Candle. That's why I got it from VA Candle. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and email VA Candle and Boca Apothecary about the disrespect. You know, like, come on. Come on. You don't just, come on. It's a disrespect for me. Yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> okay, so I'm about to put all of these vessels in my um, wooden with coat boxes. They came in and pour that way, but by the way, I opened the black ice that they accidentally sent me in. This is it. This smells so good. I'm definitely not putting it in the healing collection, but um. If they don't make me return it, ugh, your girl's gonna make a whole new candle with this. What? Hey guys, what's up? Oh my God, it's Friday. It's Friday. Friday, you're gonna need it to be Friday. I'm depleted. So I never really do live and post video, but I was like, <laughs> that sounded so bad. So what I meant was I never, my weekly schedule is usually a vlog at minimum, but adding in a live, it's like, okay, then it's a vlog and a live, that's it. But this week I added in a vlog, a live, and a video. So I, I'm like on autopilot and I can't even see y'all. I don't even know if y'all can see me. But we gotta pack the orders, and before we do so, I haven't eaten all day. You know how that go. I'm never really in. Uh, I know what's about to happen. I'm just claiming. I'm putting it in the atmosphere. I'm putting it in the atmosphere that. I'm putting it in the atmosphere that I'm going to. I'm putting in the atmosphere that I'm going to begin working for myself very, very soon, full time. So, update. Um, let me tell you something. <laughs> I just want to be real with y'all because y'all my people. Love y'all. I think I told you this earlier today, but it kind of feels like the day just reset because I had took like a nap. Not really a nap. I kind of just laid and rest my eyes. Your girl's burnt out. This is called burnout. This is exactly what they call burnout. So, yeah, yeah. We back at it again, though. I mean, burnout is only temporary. It could happen for, like, I don't know, a few hours. And you fine. You straight, straight, straight. Like, I promise y'all. I was not here. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm about to pack four orders. We got another order last night. The Sangria Candles uh, just went live. So I'm about to print out the new label and pack those orders. Then we're gonna drop them off and when we get back, we're gonna wick down those vessels and make candles. Push P. Yeah, push P. Turn me up. Turn me up, P. 
Corners in the paddock gave my peace. A push a pee. Cop no hair, I'ma fuck my peace. We don't want no peace. Got a spot at Puff Spot. Jeff for peace. Drop the dot and now we plot. Inside the peace. She not a lesbian for peace. She turned pesbian. Push a pee. Push a pee. On capital P, I write the president, count presidents. Push P. Portuguese on her knees, mopping down a P. She let me squeeze, then she leave, cause she keep a P. Private speed, privacy, jump pushing P. Purple paint, paint, push a P. Push a P. I'm push a P. Push a P. Push a P. Yeah. Push a P. I'm push a P. Push a P. Push a P. Yeah. Papa P. I'm paranoid, I can't sleep, my pockets deep Got rest on me, why they watching me? I'm push a pee, push a pee, push a pee, push a pee, yeah Got it down, got it back, watch it pee, and I'm pop, Okay, bought a pee, not a pill of Porsche Push a pee, three peas, popcorn, Porsche Scrap, push a pee, I just Cup of water, push your pee. Push your pee, red bandana cards. Push your pee. I'ma pee you at your door smoke. She ain't vanilla for me, she simply pushes. I never, I never saw ops, man, we finally touched him. I never, she ready to get in the streets for me, no questions. Ain't too rich to text, I lift my shoulder forward. Take the pee at the F of bitch, try to sort it. I'm pushing pee. Push your pee. I'm pushing pee. Push your pee. I'm pushing pee. Pee. Push a pee, push a pee, push a pee, push a pee, yeah. But I still think I can go in to the um, I still think I can go into the USPS. It's not to the part the other side. So I'm just gonna run over there as soon as possible right now. All these boxes and drop them off so that those will be all scanned in and good to go for drop pick up tomorrow to get this done. So yeah, I'll check in when we get in the car. Okay, guys, we're on our way, and surprise, surprise, my back seat is filled with boxes. Fun fact, <laughs> I was like, 
why can't I get things done? Like, why does it always take me so long to complete things? And then I realize I'm tiny. That's why. <laughs> like, it's really coming down to it. I always wonder, I'm like, oh, I can't. I'm just not as productive as I want to be. But that's because I'm small. So I can't be as productive as I want to. So. Okay guys, so I am home. I'm 
Wow guys, so I made a new recipe for a reset and I love it. So comment below if this is the same for y'all, but sometimes you'll buy a one ounce, a four ounce, even an eight ounce of fragrance. <gasps> I have wax on my nose. <laughs> Yo girl, it's going true, it's going true. But whatever. Sometimes you know you'll have like a smaller size of a fragrance oil and then you'll fall in love with it and then you buy a huge one pounder 16 ounces and then it stank it don't smell the same um citrus and sage i would get like the one ounces of that and it really set off the, the reset candle with the tea tree oil gardenia and, and everything like that nah nah i don't like it so i switched that now it's something else y'all it's like Tea tree oil, gardenia, hydrangea, Persian silk, and black ice. Your girl did a lot of things. But it smells so good. Like, it smells so clean. Tea tree oil really is a great base. I would never recommend using essential oils for candles because you're not going to get a strong hot throw. But with tea tree oil, tea tree essential oil, it really helps the reset candle. I'm exhausted, but it's so worth it. Like, 
<sighs> these look so beautiful first time making large batch in the blue cloud auras <laughs> and i'm in love guys yes i think this will look really nice in the malls as you can see the white ones are already cheered up but uh, uh, by the way we didn't even mention the facts your girl got a perfect pour okay four times so i did these are 12 ounce vessels so i did 5.6 ounces of fragrance oil and then 56 ounces of wax every time and it was a perfect pour every time it's crazy perfect pour no mess because i'm using this new machine thing that I, from amazon which i'll link down below so exciting that ha that's the most gratifying thing because Comment below if you have like leftover wax and you just sort of pour it in a random location. Like I've done that quite a few times. These are I'm like this random location from over pouring once. If you see anything wickless, you'll know why. Over pour. Who knows what it was? I'm gonna have to make it a, like a wax melt or something. But yeah, amazing. So I'm gonna design all of those tomorrow morning after I go to the gym because I love the gym and i decided that i'm gonna go in the morning oh, it makes me happy so yeah super exciting stuff very very fun making candles tonight um and we got another order somebody just ordered clarity candles so we have to pack that up tonight oh perfect have it right here clarity candles so i'll pack this up not tonight i mean i'll pack it up tomorrow yeah so what I was trying to say before the battery died is that you should never be discouraged if you get small orders, like if somebody orders one item or two items, because what you don't understand is that it takes smaller steps for people to get two larger orders. I remember I had a customer, she just started with ordering like, I think it was one mini three ounce. And then she started ordering large batches and it became a great strong repeat customer. So just stay focused on the fact that if it's their first person purchase this is the first time they visited your site and be mindful of that also i just want to reiterate even though i'm mad that what it does is now always make sure you're mindful of the fact that if you have a coupon on your website put a minimum purchase in, into it because there are people waiting for a notification from you so that they can add you know a ten dollar item to their cart and get 25 percent off and that's just disrespectful because of shipping and labor and things so I always add a minimum of $15 to the um, codes because I know that would mean you'd have to order more than one thing to get it to 15 because that's probably the way we're going to go with that. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go to sleep now, you know, just do my night routine, get everything together. But yeah, tomorrow should be great. I'm going to be designing those as well as moving or creating CandlemakingSurvivalGuide.com. I believe that all of your dreams are the reasons You took my heart on my keys and my patience You took my heart on my sleeve for decoration You mistake my love, I brought for you for foundation All that I wanted from you was to give me Something that I never had Something that you never see Something that you never be mm -hmm. But I wake up and then nothing's wrong Just get ready for work, 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 work you see me do me da 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 Cause I'm about that work 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 Da 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 When you walk out da 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 Before the table turn 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 Beg you something please Baby don't you leave Don't leave me stuck here in the streets uh -huh. If I got another chance to I will never no never neglect you I mean who am I to hold your best against you Don't get out of 
away to no one Long distance, I need you When I see potential, I just gotta see it through If you had a twin, I would still choose you Hey guys, oh my god, it is Saturday. So as you saw earlier, I um, designed the reset candles in the blue vessels. Oh my god, that was so exciting. Honestly, it looks so good. I was worried about it not matching because blue and red do not match. However, the fact that it is such a beautiful iridescent blue really complements the crystals it gives it more of a unique look in terms of like commercial value for these candles these candles are definitely commercial value in terms of it being in a store that sells crystals and then there's like this really luxurious vessel so i'm really excited as you guys can see look at that like i was so worried about the blue but Yeah, and this is my best seller in terms of the um, crystal candles. Like, Clarity's good. It's more of like an apple butter lemongrass scent. Focus is amazing. It's like a lavender, vanilla, jasmine, vanilla, gardenia scent. But Reset, that's my number one seller. When I first started, um, when, I, when I first pitched these candles to the mall, the owner, he smelled Reset first, and I was nervous because I was like, that's the one I wasn't sure about. It has tea tree oil in it. I don't know what people think of that. And he loved it. He was like, I love this smell. It smells so clean. And then that really inspired me to keep creating these healing scents because I found out that the reason why you're doing this, it's important to dive into why. Understanding more about why expands what you can accomplish. So understanding that this is um, more for people's wellness and having this type of sense in your home will you know, empower you to move forward with, I guess, prosperity and being more positive and open-minded. So I definitely incorporated the um, essential oils there. I took a risk because essential oils can at times give you a weaker throat, but not with tea tree oil. It's like the strongest essential oil. <laughs> But yeah, this is an amazing week, guys. Um, next week's going to be pretty crazy in terms of a lot of videos you're getting regarding our candle businesses, a lot of unboxings, and just more involved with what can help because I know that this is something we're doing out of the ordinary. And to be transparent, I've struggled with revealing what I do to my nine to five because I work from home, but I have nine to five on online and I, I do I do battle with the thought process of like, would it make sense to tell them what I do in terms of candles and everything? I like try to drop little hints about it, but, and then YouTube also, but I've been watching a lot of videos on, on manifesting and I know that if you share your dreams with others and you give them the right to give you their opinion so if you keep it to yourself they don't have the right to provide any insights into what they think you can and cannot do and they can't interrupt your future so i hope this helps you guys too in terms of your dreams if you have a huge uh, accomplishment you're looking to achieve don't share it with everyone share more about what you're doing once you have a clear plan in mind, once you have a full plan of what your attack is going to be. I hope this helps. Um, I'm really rooting for all of you all. Scent candles. Thank you so much for sending your candles over. Truly enjoyed reviewing them last week. If y'all haven't seen that video already, I'll put the link right here for you to check it out. But yeah, there are going to be a lot more reviews coming up soon and a lot more videos detailing what can go wrong in your business and how to keep up with inventory, how to keep up because I've learned some things from failure. So that's the main focus here is that I'm not telling you something as an expert. I'm telling you something as someone who's experienced it and can prevent you from failing. So yeah, I hope this helps. Hey, hey, Winnie and Wilson. I don't know if you see this in if you watch to the end of the video, but hey girl, hey, it was great that you commented back. I love seeing other candle makers who have YouTube channels. Like that is such a vibe for me. Like I think what we're doing is so cool and to have a channel for it is just amazing. So yeah, girl. Hey girl, hey. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Thank y'all so much for 16K. Oh my God, I was so happy when we made it there. I was like, we are getting, we are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and more people to speak to. I love talking to you guys. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, your week, your next hour, just living your purpose and love life. Okay, bye.